everybody and welcome back once again to Let's Play Pillars of Eternity 2! Here we are on the Vidorio, ready to sail out once again. So in the stream, the last session we cleared the map, apart from the little area that we can't access. And the only thing that we've got left to do is uh, Splintered Reef, and then it's DLC to Harbinger's Watch. Hall of the Unseen for the Forgotten Sanctum. Both of these are to do with the DLCs, so that is our next port of call. And once we finish those, before we make our decision um, as to who we are siding with for the final showdown with Iothus, we've got some crabby crystal spidery thing to kill. Yeah. A super boss, apparently. Well, uh, that don't wash with me. We'll be taking that creature down. But it might actually be the first time in the game. Well, that's a lie. The second time in the game. The first time was when we descended into the ancient city and faced those uh, spirits that we were underleveled for. But yeah, apart from that, this will be the only time in the game that I actually consider using all powers at my disposal. I'm talking food to enhance our abilities. I'm talking potions to enhance our abilities. I'm talking proper tactics. It's going to be needed because it's a tough fight. So that'll be a good one, but uh, we'll hang fire on that until we do the DLC because we may get some nice weapons in the DLC that might help us, you see. So, um, yeah. Anyway, the goal for today's session is uh, to head on out and do some things before we do the DLC. Um, there's a bounty up here, Umoru the Pretender. Uh, Nadar's got a little axe to have a play with, hasn't he? So we're going to head out right now and uh, we're going to do just that. Give him some training. And then we're going to head to the Splintered Reef. See what that's all about. Yes. Speaking of Nadog's axe, while we're sailing, of course we're going to stop it by doing this, but uh, I'll show you anyway. I've done some uh, crafting off camera. Um, we've got 80,000. I'm waiting to get a little bit more so that we can finish the crafting in full. Get everybody legendary crafting uh, status. But uh, in the meantime, we have actually upgraded Magran's Favor as much as we possibly can. We have given it um, Enduring Flame, which gives burn damage every second for four seconds when scoring a crit. We know how he's built. we're building him towards sort of critting and insta kills and recovery and action speed, so that fits in nicely. And the Living Pyre. Any kills that he does, in addition to giving him instant recovery from his other uh, perks and stuff, will also give him action speed boost of 5%, which stacks four times, which is nice because uh, I think something else that he had. There you go, there you go, there you go. They have action speed from that as well, for every engaged target. So, you know, the, the build is all, the build is complete. The build is complete because um, we also got him his final level up, Bloodstorm, which also gives uh, extra damage on a crit as part of his self buff with the Bloodstorm, in addition to the action speed as well. So yeah, we've built him to be a kind of, basically a one man wrecking machine. Crits, action speed, instant recovery on deaths. He's he's got it all. Which means that when he's surrounded by a group of targets, that's when he thrives. His carnage will kick in. His refreshing, his you know, downs enemies quickly. It's just going to be poetry in motion. It already has been, but that axe just finished it off to perfection. It really did. So looking forward to a few more fights in the DLCs with him to see how he fares. I got a, I think the Beast of Winter were, were over leveled for. The Forgotten Sanctum is a tough one, I've heard, so um, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. It'll be fun. It'll be fun. We don't seem to have explored this island, so do you know what? I shall explore it now. Why not? We're not in a rush today session. I don't think we'll be starting the DLC. Or maybe we might get time to start it, but uh, at the very least we are looking to, uh, to just finish off these little odds and sods. 40 ale. Holy cow. I bought a crap ton of water. 
We're up to 800 water. They'll be sick of the sight of water by the mine finish. But hey ho, with a large crew <laughs> and 80,000 coin, we can't spare the money. We can't spare the coin for the good stuff, says the uh, says Fedora as he uh, s s bathes in his money <laughs> in the bowels of his ship. Garnets. A grimoire. Okay. There are some grimoires left in town that uh, that uh, Fodoran wants, but he's going to obviously get all the pertinent stuff with the upgrades and the enchants first. But when he has some spare money floating around, he will finish off his grimoire collection. What is that? It's like a random place in the middle of the sea. We also haven't been here yet either, I don't think. So there's a couple more little things just to take a look at whilst we're in the vicinity. Huh. The crew will be happy, it's more water. Pigwas, lions, a damn giant dank spore, which shouldn't harm us if we don't mm -hmm. go in range. Uh -huh. Can we just kind of like perch ourselves here? Yeah. Yeah, of course we can. Of course we can. We can do anything we want. Hello, creatures! Could be a Horrible creatures! Hello, creatures. I'm here. Could be a fight. Come and attack me now. What the hell are them? What the hell are them things? Come on. It's a lot of animals. It's a lot of animals. We should be fine. We're at one with nature. Right. Slippy, slippy, slippy and slidey. Let's go. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's get in. Let's get in close. Let's see what we're doing. <laughs> Let's get this done. Right. So what we oh, um, we've had to re we've had to do a little bit of tweaking with the AI for uh, Adair. We picked up um, an ability a couple, uh, last session called Inspired Discipline. Gives him a self buff. I don't like to do the self buffing myself, so I put this into the AI. So he self buffs using this every time he's in melee. Refresh uh, the cooldown every 60 seconds because it is rather expensive. Uh, and Sundering Blow is a good one we've also picked up, um, which gives him the ability to weaken a target. It's to be used at the start of a fight against somebody particularly tough. It gains a bonus to penetration and lowers the target's armor rating, so it's good to use as an opener. Uh, just a couple of tactics to throw into our mix. Right. And Nadog likes to also uh, do a bit of punching things with his axe. Bush, we're off. Oh, he missed. Oh, ooh, ah. Looks like people are slipping and sliding. Just how we like it. Okay. So this is a summon of a great beast. We completely and utterly like the sound of. So, we'll summon a great beast. Fedoran is oh, oh, gonna use the big stuff already because why not? He's an art mage, he's gotta show off his powers. Oh, you've got a lion, have you, Umaru? Take a look at my lion. <laughs> it's a little bit bigger than yours. Can we control this? Can we control this? Yes, we can. Why don't you go nab on him? Have a bit. Whoa, 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 That's done a lot of damage. Why don't you go and chomp on this guy? Yeah, 
Yeah, you 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 chomp on that. Nasty. Nasty. Nasty pretender. What do you need? I don't think we need to really get overly concerned here, do you? He's doing some pretty nice damage. Look at this. He's socking it to him and not taking any damage himself. Oh, what happened there? We lost it. We lost it. Penetrating strike, anyone? Very good. Leave it to me. Well, Amina's legacy. An exceptional bow. We have actually remembered to give uh, Remgren the new um, bow, the Veil Piercer, that we picked up in the last session as well. What is it? As you wish. Oh, hang on. I think we've done the quest. We don't actually have to kill that dance boy, you know. Yeah, return to Ngata. We're in the, we're we're here now, aren't we? We're here now. Still hurt yet. Nothing wrong with a little pruning of the garden. Perfect. Yes, of course. Excellent. Okay, so that's one more bounty to hand in, and we're back in Ekataka. Exploring an ancient battlefield, and we get some gloves. Plus two to might. Garot. And two burn armor rating. They're actually quite good gloves, then, aren't they? Very good gloves for a fight. Very good gloves for anybody, to be fair. Because uh, Garot choking, you know, it looks like a ranged attack. Or is it? Maybe not. It says choke. I'm not sure if that has a ranged attack. But I mean, might anybody that uses any kind of magic or melee but benefits from that. Extra burn armor rating. Good for um, protection against burn. And Todoran likes to think of himself as the scion of flame. So you know, increasing his burn protections would be pretty handy. Spark crackers. Okay. Let's just take a look at what gloves for Doran has on us. Are they, are they going to be extra two to might? Misses converted to grazes with proficient weapons. He doesn't use his weapons. Well, he yeah, he's, he's more of a spell kind of guy. You know, with weapons filling in. So these aren't the best for him, necessarily. So what we're going to do is we're going to give those to Remgren, who uses his bow probably a little bit more. And instead, what we're going to do is we're going to take those gloves that we've just picked up and we're going to give them to Fedoran to give him that extra bit of burn armor rating for his Scion of Flame ability. That also gives a bit of protection there, that burn armor rating, should we really require it. Um, but ultimately, yeah, it's the two might that's the biggie. Extra might. means more damage which is good when was extra damage ever a bad thing okay briny grotto you've got to check this out Oh uh oh, Sigil Master! Oh, this is another gun. This is going to be another one of those epic boss battles, isn't it?
This is going to be one of those epic boss battles. Yeah. It is, isn't it? Obelisks of Mystery. Savant Bodyguard. Sigil Master Auronic. Three. We're maximum level, by the way. We can't get any higher. And he is more than three levels above us. Yep, he's definitely one of those mega bosses. So uh, I'm just going to have a little bit of an... One, tr one try. One try? Yeah, one try. Why not? We're here now. No point of running without even trying at least once. Hey. I mean, we are as maximum level as we're going to get. So if we struggle massively here, like what do we do going forward? We're not going to get too much better. A couple of enchants, maybe a couple of extra weapons that we might find. But other than that, there's not much more we've got in our locker. So if we do struggle massively, it's going to be concerning. Right, let's just pull him. The Savant bodyguards we're not overly concerned about, to be quite frank with you, but let's, let's go. I think maybe distractions here are going to be the key. Lots of distractions, lots of ways to... Um, yeah, like summons, whips, vines, the whole damn kit and caboodle, I think. So, yeah, let's, let's, let's go for that. Okay, that's that. Let's get another... Can we get two vines out? Maybe not. Let's go for the second... Let's go for the... Galloway? No, let's keep that for a second. Uh, no. Where's the one where he summons... Oh, that's Takei when he summons something else. Right, well... Yeah, Galloway's beast. More summons, the better. So he's summoning Galloway's He's summoning Galloway's V. She's finishing that off. What happened there? What happened there? Oh dear. Fear to be cowering in fear. Running in now we're running around in terror. Ooh. These people hit hard as well. This is pretty bad. This is pretty bad. Oh, obelisks are shooting us. <laughs> we can't do anything. We're, we're running around in fear. Oh That's my god. Adair's down. Okay, so literally... <laughs> literally, we... Uh, could not do a damn thing there. Instantly feared, um, no control, and dead. Right. Well, we'll we'll, we'll come back to these need? super bosses uh, <clears throat> when we are in the mindset to face them. But the, that was just a quick trial run. Maybe we could have got lucky, but uh, obviously not. So that's another one. So that's two people, two bosses now to uh, return to. Hmm, interesting. Oh, this is a shop. Okay. I think we've got enough water. Thank you, but no thank you. So instead then... It's to the Splinter Reef. Whilst listening to the shanty. This camera not yeah, this camera follows the ship. Is it always done that? Yeah, I think it has. But I just kinda stop doing it, don't I? Look, you see I've stopped it. <laughs> I 
so how do we dock? All right, so this yeah, this was the place with the multiple uh, different places, wasn't it? This the place with the different places, yeah, the, 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 that kind of mini city, splintered reef, unknown. Well, we'll start we'll start at the boathouse. We encounter a veil of thick fog. This could have been a mistake. <laughs> A series of flimsy docks connect scattered stretches of dry land. On all sides you are flanked by the hulks of splintered wrecked ships. A thick fog sits upon the water, obscuring the path in all directions. The only sounds you hear are the lapping of water and your own footsteps upon the narrow rotting planks. The eerie quiet is broken by the barking of a dog somewhere off to your left. We shall keep silent for now. You press on, wordlessly. Suddenly a hair-raising growl rumbles out from the fog, only a few paces ahead of you. Your whistle is met with a renewed barking, and then a sharp whine, abrupt and shrill. After several moments of silence, you hear a running tread upon the docks. A dog bounds from the fog, its dark fur matted with blood. Two figures stumble after the hound, their maws stained red. Out of the fog, they are revealed for what they are. Withered, rotting, human only in silhouette. Dargles. They halt, swaying at the sight of you, but make no further move. From the darkness of the fog, a third robed figure emerges, a twisted staff raised high in their hands. A flash of light emerges from the staff. As you look out, Runes seared into the Dargle's forehead flare to life, glimmering like beacons in the darkness. Snarling, the Dargle's rush for you, their blood slick claws slicing at the air. Wow. Okay. Hi guys, how you doing? It's nice to see you all turn out for my rival. <laughs> you needn't have bothered. Really, no, really, you needn't have. Let's try this again. There you go. He's cast his little thing in my bobs. Have a bit of Galloway's more. We'll toy with them. We won't beat them quickly. We'll just we'll save the big guns. Have a few vines lashed in your face instead. Vampires. I mean, vampires are not necessarily overly weak. Dog buffing up. Okay, that's a problem. That's a problem. Take him away from me, please. Take him away from me, please. Thank you. Oh, sh bloody hell. Fedora, stop hitting him. You're angering the creature. Oh, no. Oh, God. This is going a little bit wrong. Must be said. to stop I need to do something we're blocked off by these oh, come on not you you come here Minute. Wow, did he just do 46 damage? Yeah, 10 frost and 36. He does quite a lot of damage in this form. Let us end this. 
Nice. Not even After all. What can I do you for? Aspects of Galloway doing a good job on this Dargle Marksman. I don't think we need any power, do we? It's just uh, a waste. Let's save it for uh, another battle, maybe. Killing Bolt, though. Do you finish this? Oof! Mm, not quite. It's a tough cookie, these vampires, aren't they? Hmm? Just because they're dressed in robes doesn't make them weak. Sure. Hmm? Vampire quarterstaff. Hmm? Hmm, interesting. That's sure. just the welcoming committee. This is not necessarily the be all and end all of this place. There could be more. Or maybe not. I can't remember what his last spell is. I'll level him up in the next session. This is a crossroads. We can turn left or we can go up. Left. Ah, we don't even made it to the boathouse yet. The pickled eel. Interesting, interesting. We may be here longer than we think. Sure there's nothing uh, in the form of traps here. Place smells this bad. If the owner ain't dead, there's no excuse. <laughs> oh, a lonely dog. Come here, Poochie. Little Nicky. So this is, there's nothing in here other than a dog. Hmm. Suspicious. Suspicious. The boathouse. Okay. Oh. I think we'll go to the pickled eel next. I wonder if they're all abandoned. You there? No. How are you up here? Up on the balcony, a tall and lanky figure waits frantically for your attention. That done, he ducks down again behind the railing. It is not an effective hiding place. <laughs> this is supposed to be a tavern. We've got skeletons and ghouls. Oh, indeed. This is not right. Looks not like we have someone shot. new in town. <laughs> One dead party. How oh, very nice. Oh, and a lost cat. I don't care if it's uh, rather grim, blood all over the place, and uh, when there's cats in the corner, mm -hmm. we shall uh, so, just carry on like this is completely arrived, normal. I'll wager you the thirst. Oh, uh, well... Uh, you could put it that way, and uh, how often have we seen civilized undead? Uh, Copperhead. Let's, let's pop up here for a second. Don is having trouble believing his eyes at the moment. Is this an undead tavern? What the bloody hell! 
Good, good. I thought for sure you'd wander off. Get yourself into trouble. The man before you, or creature, perhaps, as his skin is as greyed and withered as that of the other patrons, wears a helmet two sizes too large for him. It tips from the side to side as his head moves. I'm Copperhead. That's what they call me. Friendly nicknames. You know how it is. Oh, yeah. I oh, know you're different from the others. I can see it. Different? <laughs> yes, you could say different. What exactly is this place? Ain't it plain? It's a paradise. Oh, <laughs> a land free of all the troubles of home. All the food and drink you want, and nary a frown in sight. Oh, no. No, it isn't so simple. Oh, it's not safe here. Not where everyone's looking, listening. I have a house, out on the outskirts. But that mind me keeping to myself. We can talk there. Um, yeah, 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 yes, yes, well, fine. I'll, I'll meet you there. Fedora's saying, the rest of his party looking at him in a rather quizzical state. Look out for the ones in charge. Them with the staffs. They spy you. Things will get bad in a hurry. Zulka. Especially she. I have to go. Zulka? I think he's talking about the fan bears. Oh, oh, uh oh, oh. Wow, look at her. A woman strides into the tavern bearing a staff whose ornamental head glows with arcane energy. She strikes her staff upon the ground once and the tavern fills with eerie light as the runes carved upon each vessel's forehead begin to glow. Zulka mutters something under her breath and a faint aura ripples around the two bound kith standing behind her. That done, she makes a sweeping gesture of the arm with all the showmanship of a theatre performer. Menzago has brought you a feast, my friends. Livestock and game. Tonight, we eat well. Everyone in the tavern cheers as the kith are carted into a back room. Oh dear. Copperhead, you are not staying for the celebration? Copperhead freezes mid-slink, grinning insipidly. Not today, Zulka. I've had my fill, really. Another mouthful and I'll split down the seams. <laughs> he bobs his head in a feeble bow and scuttles away. Zulka's attention drifts back to the to the crowd. Uh, we need to really quietly. Cover behind? No problem. Yeah. Let's not tick off Zulka. Or maybe we should tick off Zulka. Or we're, we're in a pickle now. I don't really want to cause a scene just yet until we figure out what's going on here. How are we going to get past this though? We're kind of, kind of penned in. Right, she's off, she's off. Look, let's go, let's go. Right. The highest stealthy person? Mm He's -hmm. gonna speak to the barkeep. stupid wasn't it <sighs> look here someone a little too eager to climb into the stew pot all around you lights flare above the furled brows of the gathered vessels the tavern patrons slump into feral postures their eyes blank and ins and uh, what, insen insensate their jaws gnashing as one they lunge to oh we've, oh we've angered the entire inn I didn't want to do that I didn't want to do that. Try. Oh. 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 He's in. He's. He's in big trouble. He's in big trouble. Get him out of there. Get him out of there. Get him out of there. Turn and face and fight. Turn and face and fight. Oh boy. Okay. Uh. Will plague of insects hit undead? They're usually immune to poison, and I think plague of insects is it poison or is it raw damage it does? It 
sickened. It's raw damage though. Let's try it. This sucks. Look at look at it, look at all the damage he's doing! He loves a bit of damage. Oh god. Look at him, look at him, look at him! He's just cho he's just chopping, he's just chopping and slashing and chopping and slashing. He's just killed a whole bar in his one one swoop. Oh God! <laughs> Oof! He's still ha Oof! He's still hacking and slashing. How many people has he killed? <laughs> Good God! Phantom and a Dargle. Heal us. Let's go. Yes. Go again. Yes. At least we saved the kiss. are in order here. We'll also do a moon well just in case. And then we'll do a... Has she got like any protections like reflections? Assistance, middle let's piercing sigil. It's a piercing sigil that's causing this issue. Uh, this strips people of their... I picked the wrong spell! I picked the wrong spell! No! Oh bugger! I've been a I've been a calamity. Cal oh, I supposed to pick that one. Arcane cleanse to get rid of beneficial effects, such as you know what we've got on now with her. Oh, and I've picked the wrong one. I've misclicked. Shoot! To, it's not. It, this is useful in certain circumstances, stripping enemies of their beneficial effects. I kind of think we should respec. It is a spell that will have its uses. <laughs> Jesus wept. Can we get some healing, please? I didn't want to kill the whole tavern. There's probably a way to do this without doing that, but I kind of like, as per usual, I'm going to live with my consequences. Yeah. But this sucks. Oh. We didn't even get to see what he was selling. He could have been selling. He could have been selling unique stuff. <sighs> really angry about this. Something I can do. Good thinking. Captives, you're free to go. The captive's mouth is gagged with a tight bandana. A loop of iron is bolted around her neck with a glowing emblem wrought into the metal at the join. She struggles to speak, but manages only a muffled garbled yell. Remove her gag after examining the iron collar. You suspect that the symbol on the collar has something to do with the same magic that governs the vessels in this place. The spell itself is hard to determine, but you are confident it involves illusion magic. You remove the gag. What in blazes is going on? Have you seen those monsters? Hmm. Yes, well, I... Uh, I... Uh, there seems to be some kind of spell at work here. Yes, they, they seem to think you're livestock or fish. 
strange way to put it. Food, basically. I'm still trying to figure out what's happening. Haven't seen or heard of magic like that anywhere in the dead fire. Seen my share of curses aimed my way, but not like this. We were sailing under Lofel, captain of the Antelope, and making good time. A clear sky and a good wind until, out of nowhere, this fog bank rolled in. Then, a great hulk came gliding through the water towards us, nearly stove us there and then. The floating hangman. I got hit so hard it surprised me to wake up again. But the next thing I knew, those things were carting me and Kasungo down the road. Daimo here started hollering, and they all but cracked his skull in two. I have to get him back to Fort Deadlight. You've gotten past them. Help us do the same. Yes, uh... Well, I've cleared the path. Uh, you can go. And by the way, I've also uh, captured the, the floating hangman, so you don't have to worry about that either anymore. <laughs> Our gratitude, stranger. Come by for deadlight sometime, and we'll give you a grand welcome. Uh, I may pop in, I may pop in. I'm good friends with Captain Ferranti, you see. <laughs> Though, mayhaps we'll follow your ship a while. Wouldn't do to get caught again. Yeah? I got it. Good old name dropper for Doran. Right, okay, we might as well loot this place then, if we're... We're not going to get anything from the tavern keep anymore, because he's now dead. So the floating hangman has got something to do with this place. Well, that's just say, the floating hangman is now no longer in existence. Well, it is. It's just in our possession. The, the people on the floating hangman, if you can call them people, uh, they are no longer in existence. Right then, uh, Sea Lash Crypt? Maybe? Where's his... Oh, I bet... I. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm completely screwing this area up. <laughs> completely. Okay, let's forget that for a second and go to the boathouse. That's probably the house that um, what's his face was talking about. Copperhead. That's why it was empty because he was captured or he was in the uh, tavern. So let's see if we can figure out what's going on here. Oh, good, you're here. Yeah, sure. Over here, over here. Mind your step. I've uh, collected things. Spent years collecting. Hmm. Whose hand weighs vaguely the collection of detritus? Yes, uh, yeah, lovely collection you you have here. The door, uh, Fedoran's bluff skill coming into uh, effect here. <laughs> I've always been curious. There are so many ships out there on the reef. I could dive down, see what I found. It was beautiful down there. A hundred stories, and I read them piece by piece. Nothing like the helmet, and nothing's been the same since the helmet. I put it on. I get glimpses of what this place really is. A ship's graveyard, teeming with the dead. The not dead. They're still alive. Hmm, yes, uh, well, well, yes, I can see through the illusion just fine. Yeah, well, the dream only works on folk what have this symbol on their heads. Oh. I didn't see it till I got the helmet on. And all of us, dead, or something like it, feeding off the living to stay alive a little longer. So why would anyone go through all that trouble to keep a town full of dead people trapped in an illusion? I can't see as to what we've been charmed for, but I know it's got something to do with the crypt. That's where Mentzago is, the man in charge of this place, and where Lucia Ravan's old keep used to be. Oh, Lucia Ravan, you say? I bet there's a few trinkets in that keep. Hmm. Any time new settlers turn up, they come out of that place. When they start to lose their senses, get too hungry, that's when they get taken. The strongest get fed to Menzago's most loyal servants, the Protectors. The rest of the kith, they bleed slow in the tavern. Once in a while, the Protectors treat us to a whole body. How delightful! <laughs> Point is, whatever they're doing to keep us living in this little fantasy, it's got to be in there somewhere. So I'm assuming that Rivan is the same Rivan that captained the floating hangman? 
I don't know the ship, but Ravan's supposed to be some great captain. She founded this place, mm. made it what it is now. Oh, well, uh, thank you for the information. Copperhead, wasn't it? Yes. Um, I'll take a look at the crypt. Hold on, you can't just walk on in. It's guarded. Really, really well guarded. Oh. Well, uh, do you have any ideas then how else I can get in? The guards don't really leave their posts, unless the hunters are back with fresh meat. But they haven't got a schedule. They come and go as they please. I see. Well, uh, how about you uh, create a diversion for us? Me? Yeah, all right. I can do that. I can help. I'll meet you out there. Oh, excellent, excellent. Well, uh, we'll see you there. Distraction? Yes. We'll put them to good use. See you, Crypt. Off we tootle. Okay, so now he's creating a distraction for us. Hey, down there. I think I've got to turn around. It's the weirdest thing. You all look like corpses. Uh, what's happening? What was I thinking? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay. Oh, silence, I shall. Is that? That is stood up, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, hang on. Well, where's, where, where's our distraction? If we trigger this vampire, is that going to cause it? That's going to cause a scene, isn't it? But we really don't really have much else to do, I suppose. Yes. Dim in the lantern. No other ways up. And there's no sign of our distraction, so let's... Unless he's taken some of them away. Oh, wait, hang on. There's somebody else here as well. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. You asked for it, pal. Oh, boy. Oh, oh, no. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, we're in a really bad position here. These are only weak, though. So, just need. You just need. Now, dog to wheel his weapon around like a flipping maniac. A little bit, and then we'll be fine. You mean you mean like that? Who did that? Yeah, I think Nadog did that with his carnage. <laughs> just, just, just dropping like skittles. Uh, excellent. Right, okay, so I think what we'll do now is we'll go for a little bit of slippy slippy, slipping slidey. Okay, and then I think, ooh, we just need to make sure that we don't end up dead. Don't mind. Jyoti, thank you. Just help us out here. And we'll do a moon well as well, just to keep us going. And then what we're going to do is an empowered missile salve. Oh! Blinded us. How lovely. Oh my god, we're in trouble. Nadog is down. Oh, we are in big trouble. Al Ghouls. I don't know how these things fare against fire, but 
That is gonna kill us. Can I get some summons out here or something? Positioning that's killed us here. Okay, let's try an empowered lightning attack instead. Uh, oh, we're packed. There's all this packed. Oh, God. I have no clue what is happening here. This is just a big mess. Oh, there's, there's someone some tentacles. Scroll, scroll of major healing. That's a very good heal. Right, are you casting something? Anything? Tentacles. Right, so we've got rid of the tentacles. Oh, she's down. I didn't realise that Jota was down. So we're in a position again where it's, 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 it's Fedora and Adair juking it with the enemy one on one, mano a mano. <laughs> Managed to survive last time. Will they survive this time? We've got a couple of skeletons on our side. That's going to hit a dare, isn't it? That's no use to us, really. Where is a dare? He's about there. Right. Cast that. <coughs> Come on, a dare. Just keep, just keep going. This weapon's no good to me. Keep going. Alright, that's all we can hope for at the minute is just to keep casting stuff that's gonna hurt them. Two vampires, three vampires, and an algal. We are not even touching the sides. Not even touching the sides. Where's one that heals us? It's that one. Quick, toss me something else. <laughs> nice hit. No. After him. Leave me be. Leave me be. We need to we need to whittle them down. A rake. A rake would be handy. Come in a dare. I've turned him into a pig! Oh, that's hit a dare. Oh, that, that's, 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 that's bad. That's bad. They turned him into a damn pig. How dare they? Have they no shame? Turn my man into a pig? Can you, can you drink a potion as a pig? <laughs> no. I need some help here. Oh. oh. Okay. 
Oh. Oh. Come on, Adair. Keep fighting. Keep fighting, Adair. You've got him. You've got him. Have we lost? There's no way on earth he's going to be able to do this. Summon dragons. Quickly. Quickly. Summon dragons. Adair, do not die on me, son! That's it. Keep sipping potions. Defend us, dance. Summon a, another help as well. Loads of summons. Yes. Loads of summons. Loads of summons. Oh, you can only have so many summons at a time. Oh, we've just lost our two dragons. Oh, I was just, okay, I didn't know that either. Damn. We've shot ourselves in the foot. Balls. This is going well, as you can quite clearly see. Freezing pillar. There he is. Okay, there's down now. Oh, there was a valiant effort. At one point, I thought maybe a dead. Oh, he's up again. He's up again. He's not dead. Sip. Sip away, son. Sip away. They are getting weaker. Oh, but Fedor's gonna die. Yeah, no problem. Oh no, he's not. He's still alive. He's still alive. He's still alive. Come on, the dare. You keep fighting. Oh, we're stuck. <laughs> oh, balls. What do you need? I'm on it. Oh, yes. this, is, this is one of those fights where if your positioning was right from the start, this would not be happening. But uh, obviously, you can't afford. To We'll see what's going to happen, can you? People crawling from the damn sea. It's a decent blow, but uh, it's not going to kill her. Hit her. Or it. Hit it. Fleet feet. Dead. Dead's doing really well. Oh, Fedora's not. He's now dead. Could have dead. Can't he? Can't. Uh, only so much you can do, isn't there? Leave it to me. And he's blind. We had some good times. Well. Ah, bloody hell. Keep him going to the bitter end. Come on, Adair. <laughs> Never mind. <sighs> the party has died. Really? I, I hadn't noticed. <sighs> it's always a horrible ending on a sour note, but at 59 minutes, I think we're going to have to end there. In the next battle, of course, we shall position ourselves so that we don't get surrounded for a start, and that's probably going to go some way to helping us. We'll level up uh, Remgren Games to level 20, uh, and we'll uh, start the next session, hopefully, getting our revenge, before we find out just exactly what the hell is going on on this rather strange island. So join me next time for that. Until then, see you soon.